just returned back to uh, one of the catches this morning. It's uh, now 10 o'clock. So, <clears throat> after I've been to the chute and uh, caught the hens up, I um, I'll bring them back here and uh, I put them into uh, a pen with uh, one cock per nine hens for um, for the for the egg laying. Uh, about the first of April they start laying eggs. You want to get them in a good few weeks before then, so that they got time to settle down. Um, and then they'll they'll start laying more eggs. The uh, the later that you um, you catch them up, they seem to be uh, take a little bit more time to get accumulated to being in this environment, and uh, don't lay so many eggs. But um, this is. Uh, Quite a good method of um, keeping hens because you can move the uh, the sections every few days and uh, give them some fresh grass, fresh environment to eat, and then there's not so many worms, parasites. Um, you, if uh, any of them develop any sickness at all, you can cull with um, the batch rather than. Uh, what some of the big game farms do is uh, they uh, have huge, great big flocks. So there would be a hundred, sometimes two hundred in each pen. And um, obviously the sickness travels. Pretty much like this virus we got at the moment. So it's all it's all relevant. So you could say they were isolating. So say there's the cock in this hen with his hens. This pen's doing really well actually. They're really quiet, really chilled out in this one. This one, um, it's got 11 hens in. Bit of a mistake when I was to put them out in the crates. There's the mind. He just enjoy himself a bit. A barrel in there where there's a bit of hay inside so they lay the eggs. Gives you a single point to collect rather than going in and uh, upsetting them all. <laughs> <laughs> 